the shin splints in the past. You know? When you got this many clients, if you have 16 clients here, it becomes extremely, extremely loud in here. We can even just now you hear the echo just with me talking. Um, this is the only day area, so if you're having problems, if clients are getting along, there's really no place else for them to go, and, and which just creates more um, acuity on the ward, more safety risk. We have individual small air handlers in this area, so there's about four air handlers here. And they're old, they're from the early 70s to mid-70s, and they tend to leak. And when they leak, they leak through the plaster, the plaster starts falling down, so this area is opened up right now because the plaster was so bad it was impossible to repair. We've got it opened up, we're going to repair the air handler while we've got it opened up, and then we're going to re-plaster the ceiling again. But we have this quite a few areas all over the place. One of the problems here is if you stand here, you feel it's stroking down, you can see where it's actually pulling away from the, the building itself, the whole towers on both sides are pulling away from the towers. This is the restroom. And that's what we yeah. actually use. And if we shut the door, we, can, we can't hear anything that's going on in the ward. They have to come out this here to, you, to wash their hands after they use the restroom. This is where our patients have to live. This, this is their home away from home. So this is cinder block construction, 12 foot ceiling. This is where we treat people. On average, the length of stay in big forensic centers somewhere between three and a half to five years. So for three and a half to five years, this is this is a place where the person puts his head down at night. And this is uh, it's a larger room, but you still have the problem with the pillars. You still don't have clear eyesight in the whole room, so you have to keep rotating around. Um, you got the peeling paint here. This was all painted when we moved in here. Uh, it's below grade, so I assume the moisture and stuff is what's preventing any, any paint from adhering. The nurse station where it's located. The, the sight line issue. Yeah. 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 That's the problem. Shut, you have to actually use your body and slam it. 